What's up guys? AdventureDex here from AdventureDexOnline.com. In this episode, we're going to be checking out a set of these Rough Country Vertex Maximum Performance Shocks. Rough Country built these shocks to compete with the top of the market. They feature an 8 stage adjustable compression damping, 2.5 inch bore aloe body, a zinc plated double clear coated finish, 2.5 inch bore aloe reservoir, black anodized CNC machine billet aluminum components. Let's open it up, get them installed, and we're going to figure out whether or not these are worth $7.99 for the front, $7.99 for the back, and all of $1,600. So stay tuned. Alright guys, so the first thing we're going to do is unbox this. And it comes packaged really, really well. And holy moly, look at the size of this thing compared to my hand. This thing is huge. They weren't kidding when they said uh, it's not too heavy, but uh, man, the piston is huge. The reservoirs are gigantic. And then you can see on the top here is the adjustable. So we'll play with that a little bit and uh, figure it out. So let me get this stuff out of here. Comes with the hardware. and the hardware. This is not a comparison video, but I just wanted to show you so that you got a relative understanding of this, how big this thing is. I put it next to the Fox shocks that I was running prior and I was really happy with these Fox shocks. So I'm gonna give you guys a review based on my experience with these. But um, the thing you can see, the diameter of the piston in comparison, um, it's much larger. The reservoir as well, you can see is much, much larger. And obviously these are not adjustable and the new Rough Country Vertex shocks are. So that's gonna be very, very interesting to see the dynamic of how well they're built and how well they perform based on what I had on before. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and show you guys how to install this. It's very, very easy. It's only two parts, one on the bottom, one on the top, and then that's it. So my only complaint is when you put these shocks in, I have Rough Country inner fenders and Rough Country Vertex shocks, and they hit. So we're gonna have to make a little trim on these inner fenders. So I can give them the benefit of the doubt, knowing that the inner fender came out before these shocks, but uh, it's unfortunate that we're gonna have to make a little trim here to have these fit properly. So let's do that now. Now that we fixed that, we can get back to installing these monsters. So I'm going to put them in and it goes washer, rubber, rubber, washer. All right, I got that started. Now we're going to use a 17 millimeter to tighten it up. If you don't have a set of ratcheting end wrenches, I absolutely recommend them, they're awesome. And just like that, they're installed. All right guys, if you thought the front were big, check out the rear. I mean, this thing is massive. It has this huge metal braid, this reservoir, they're gigantic, the same piston. Let's get this out of the box and get these installed as well. The first thing you wanna do is secure the top with the factory 16 millimeter bolts. 
There's two at the top and then one 18 millimeter at the bottom. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. And just like that guys, the Vertex shocks are installed. They look awesome, but the question is, how do they perform? So let's find out. If you're looking for a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to install Jeep shocks, I'll post it right there. Also, comment below and let me know what shocks you're running right now. So it's been a couple of days since we installed the shocks and so far, I'm impressed. But the real test lies ahead, so let's hit it. So what do I think about these shocks? I'm actually pleasantly surprised. Rough Country is known for their entry level products, but this is anything but that. These are well made and they really perform. I love the fact that they have the adjustability so you can tune them to any application that you may find yourself in, whether you're on the road, trail, or even at the mall. Comment below and let me know what you think of these Rough Country shocks. I'll post a link to these Vertex shocks in the description so you can go over there and check them out. If you like what I'm doing here on the channel, Smash that thumbs up rating to show your support. The only question left is how they're gonna last over time. I'm gonna be keeping these on my Jeep and I'll be doing an update video, so be sure to hit that subscribe button to join so you don't miss that video. Until next time, I'm Adventure Dex. Don't forget, keep on Jeeping.